نصیحہ گائیڈنس ایڈوائس ریگولرلی دا اولی اللہ دا فرینڈز آف اللہ ٹو دا اسٹوڈنٹس دے ریمائنڈ دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف دس دعا اینڈ دے یوز ٹو ریپیٹ دس دعا دیٹ ریپیٹ دس دعا ایز مچ ایز یو کین اینڈ اٹس ویری کمپلیٹ دعا بینیفیشل دعا اللہ جلنی عند کا ولی اللہ جلنی عند کا ولی Now the meaning of this hadith is this, that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa stated, he's given education, that what the servant should do is that from, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he should do dua. And what should he ask for in the dua? That, oh Allah ta'ala, make me your waliya. Make your waliya. Yes, this is what we should ask. Now what is waliya? What is the definition, meaning? What are we asking for? Now I'll give you an example, if we understand this example, for example in the world, we have the people who are sort of high level, high status, big offices, whether it's a minister or prime minister or king or the president. These are sort of big titles and uh, seats in the world and we see in their offices, different people are working in their offices, in their cabinet, in the back rooms, etc. And there are specific workers or deputies, there are one or two very special workers you can say workers of the leader, that without any formality, and without any conditions, preconditions, they're coming in and out of the, the, the leader's office regularly. They're going with this a minister or if it's a king, prime minister, they don't knock on the door, they don't seek a leave or request without any formality. They're going in and out, stopping, speaking, explaining, he's speaking to this person, to that person. So it looks as if that person is very close uh, to the leader. So everybody is envious that this person is the uh, representative of the king or the minister of the leader. So he gets a status, he gets respect. And obviously if somebody wants to get something done by the king, then they'll go through him. So I'll speak to him. He'll get the job done. So he gets a unique status. And he is very close uh, of the leader. He's coming, going. He knows the leader's secrets and the leader knows his secrets. He understands the leader's secrets. Uh, issues and he understand, the leader understands his issues. So he's very close. And in uh, Arabic we call waliya. Subhanallah. So Allah's Nabi is saying that in this dunya, there are waliya people in the world, they're coming and going, they know the leaders. Forget him. That you should become the waliya of Rabbi Kainat, the Rabb of the universe, the king of the universe, the owner of the universe. Allah Ta'ala's Nabi says said that you have iman. You have belief. Why do you look towards the people of influence in the world? You should become the waliya, the close associate of Allah, the Lord of the universe. And that's how we should be. On this level we should get to the highest status. For that, alhamdulillah, it is stated that we should do in high abundance. Allahumma ja'alni indaka waliya. So remember this dua. That oh Allah Ta'ala, Please make me the waliya of your court. Make me your close associate. So I'm coming and going. I know about you. You understand me. I know about you, Allah. Just like the king and his uh, ministers, they know each other uh, quite well. So Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has given us a hint that you have nothing to lose and there's nothing that we don't know. So if we say, oh, how can we become this?